Welcome back rich followers. Today, we're going to discuss some of the reasons for KFC's downfall, what we can learn from it, and one thing I would change if I had to change the company around. Please enjoy. Part 1. The early success and rapid expansion of KFC in the 1960s and 1970s. In the 1960s and 1970s, KFC experienced early success and rapid expansion. The company, founded by Colonel Harlan Sanders in 1952, began to grow exponentially after he sold it to a group of investors led by John Brown Jr. and Jack Massey in 1964. This growth can be attributed to several factors, including the unique selling proposition of KFC's secret recipe, aggressive franchising efforts, and an effective marketing strategy. One of the key reasons for KFC's early success was its unique selling proposition, the secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices, which made KFC's fried chicken stand out from other competitors. This secret recipe, created by Colonel Sanders himself, became synonymous with the KFC brand and helped establish it as a market leader in the fast food industry. The novelty of the product and the mystique surrounding the recipe drew in customers, eager to taste the flavorful fried chicken. Another contributing factor to KFC's rapid expansion was its aggressive franchising strategy. As the company grew in popularity, Brown and Massey focused on expanding the brand's presence by partnering with entrepreneurs to open new franchises across the United States and around the world. By the late 1970s, KFC had become a global brand with thousands of outlets in more than 40 countries. This expansion allowed the company to reach a wider customer base and increase its overall revenue. KFC's early marketing efforts also played a crucial role in its rapid expansion. The company's advertising campaigns focused on promoting the unique taste of its fried chicken and the figure of Colonel Sanders, who became the brand's mascot and spokesperson. These campaigns created a strong association between the brand and its signature product, making KFC synonymous with fried chicken in the minds of consumers. The slogan, Finger Licking Good, which was introduced during this time, reinforced the idea that KFC's chicken was irresistibly delicious. However, this rapid expansion came with its own set of challenges. As the company continued to grow, maintaining consistency and quality across all franchises became increasingly difficult. The focus on opening new outlets and increasing revenue led to a decline in the quality of the product, as well as the overall customer experience. This decline was further exacerbated by a lack of standardized procedures and inadequate employee training, which resulted in inconsistent service and food quality across different locations. Part 2. Loss of focus on quality core products, due to diversification. During the latter part of the 20th century, KFC began to diversify its menu offerings in an attempt to cater to a wider audience and compete with other fast food chains. However, this diversification resulted in a loss of focus on the company's core products and quality, ultimately contributing to its decline in popularity and market share. The fast food landscape was rapidly evolving, and KFC felt the pressure to keep up with the changing preferences of consumers. Competitors like McDonald's and Burger King were constantly expanding their menus, offering a wide range of items to appeal to different tastes and dietary requirements. In response, KFC began introducing new products like sandwiches, wraps, salads, and even pizza in some locations. While these new items aimed to attract new customers, they also diluted the brand's image and identity as a fried chicken specialist. As KFC's menu expanded, it became increasingly difficult for the company to maintain the quality and consistency of its core product, fried chicken. The introduction of new items meant that the company's resources and attention were spread thin, resulting in decreased focus on the quality of its original product. This led to inconsistencies in taste and preparation, leaving customers disappointed and damaging the brand's reputation. Furthermore, the diversification of the menu also led to operational challenges within KFC's outlets. Staff needed to be trained on the preparation and serving of a wider range of products, which increased complexity in the kitchen and the potential for errors. The added menu items also necessitated additional equipment and storage space, leading to overcrowded kitchens and higher operational costs. The loss of focus on quality and core products, due to diversification also impacted KFC's ability to differentiate itself from its competitors. As the company moved away from its original identity as a fried chicken specialist, it struggled to carve out a unique niche in the crowded fast food market. With an increasingly generic menu and declining product quality, KFC became less and less distinguishable from its rivals, eroding its competitive advantage and market share. 
In hindsight, KFC's attempts to diversify its menu and cater to a wider audience proved to be a double-edged sword. Part 3. Increased competition in the fast food market. As the fast food industry continued to grow, KFC faced increasing competition from other major players, such as McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. These competitors were not only expanding their menu offerings but also focusing on faster service, lower prices, and healthier options. This increased competition put pressure on KFC to keep up with the changing landscape. However, the company struggled to find a balance between maintaining its unique identity and adapting to the new market dynamics. As a result, KFC started losing market share to its competitors. Part 4. Inability to adapt quickly to changing consumer preferences and trends. As consumer preferences shifted towards healthier food options and a greater focus on quality ingredients, KFC found itself lagging behind. The company's heavy reliance on fried chicken and its traditional, calorie-dense menu became a liability in the eyes of increasingly health-conscious consumers. Despite efforts to introduce healthier menu options and revamp its image, KFC struggled to shake off its reputation as an unhealthy fast-food choice. This inability to adapt quickly to changing consumer preferences, and trends further contributed to KFC's decline in popularity and market share. Part 5. Mismanagement and multiple changes in ownership. KFC's journey has been marked by numerous changes in ownership and management. After Colonel Sanders sold the company to Hubelin Incorporated in 1964, it changed hands several times, eventually becoming a part of Yum Brands in 1997. These changes in ownership led to shifts in corporate strategy and vision, which contributed to the overall instability of the brand and its decline in success. With each change in ownership, KFC's focus and priorities shifted, resulting in a lack of consistent direction for the company. This inconsistency manifested in various ways, including frequent menu changes, store redesigns, and marketing campaigns that failed to resonate with customers. Employees and franchisees were often left confused and frustrated by these changes, further exacerbating the company's struggles. Moreover, the mismanagement of the brand resulted in a lack of investment in areas that were crucial for the company's long-term success, such as research and development, employee training, and customer service. This negligence further widened the gap between KFC and its competitors, who continued to innovate and evolve with the market. So, what can we learn from KFC's downfall? 1. It is very important for a company to focus on core strengths. The company needs to focus on what makes it unique. In the case of KFC, their strength was their signature fried chicken, instead of keeping that chicken as the focal point, and for example, combining it to make your meal or getting better at service. The company instead tried to diversify its menu and ultimately strayed away from its signature chicken. This eventually hurt the company's image and reputation. Another thing we can learn from KFC is that it is very important for a company to identify the correct competition. I'll explain what I mean. Instead of focusing on competition with McDonald's or Burger King, KFC should have focused focused on being the number one source of chicken and dishes involving chicken. Since KFC could not identify the correct competitors, it had to invest more money in training employees and staff for an expanded menu, as well as decrease the overall efficiency in the kitchen due to added complexity from an expanded menu. The third lesson is that it is very important to listen to customer feedback about your product or service. This is quite self-explanatory because customer service is the lifeblood of any company. Unless you run a monopoly, the customer can always go to another business, offering the same product or service that you do. So what one thing would I change about the company to make it better? If I was leading KFC, I would remove most items from the menu and force the company to focus on its signature chicken dish. I would aim to make the company the number one source in people's mind when it came to chicken. A few items that come to mind are the chicken salad, chicken sandwiches, chicken and fries. Basically any combination of chicken dishes where my signature chicken recipe would be at the focal point of the meal. Let me know in the comments if you agree, and let me know what other videos you would like for me to make next. Thanks for watching.